section for more advanced guitarists here. So you want to use these technical skills to continue to increase your abilities over time. When it comes to right hand techniques, we can continue to use this model. Right, so what we're going to do is just hold that guitar pick in our right hand. Now this is a Jim Dunlop uh, medium nylon pick. Sounds great for acoustic. I have here a Jazz uh, 2 pick that I, I love to death, but it's going to be typically more for uh, the electric guitar. It's a Jazz 2 or Jazz 3. Anyway, it's the black jazz pick. So it can uh, produce some nice tones on the acoustic, but it's more for electric. So let's use the... Uh, the typical uh, 0.73 or medium grip, medium thickness pick. And what we're going to do is play this 1, 2, 3, 4 pattern in two ways. Okay, we're going to play it uh, horizontally across the guitar. And we're going to play it vertically from the lowest string to the highest. Um, you're going to find a place that's comfortable for you on the instrument. So let's work it in, uh, here's example one, string one up the neck. Alright, so you more intermediate level guitarist, can you do that? Are you at a place where you can do that with confidence? Using alternate picking. String two. Strings one and two. Well, it really gets hard when you start having to cross several strings at once. So, um, intermediate more advanced guitarist I encourage you to take this opportunity to watch your right hand form I'm gonna do the best I can as well here we go string one to string six position one position two three four five six seven eight and nine it's not a race but as time goes on you're gonna to want to increase your tempo speed one two and three and a four and a So um, there's lots of finger combinations for this, trust me. There's one, two, three, four, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, four, one, two, three. The first thing is just to feel control of your picking hand. All right, for most people, the picking hand is the problem, not the left hand. So relax, drape your arm across the guitar, and just go slow. And what I want you to do is feel that difference between string one and two. What's that spacing like for your hand? What's that spacing like? Well, if you make your movements as slow and as small as possible, can you make each note last as long as possible? Relax. Let your mind go somewhere. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a Mississippi, 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 Mississippi. No flyaway fingers. Hey, if you're intermediate or more advanced at this point, you ought to know no flyaway fingers. Another thing you should be able to do is play and tell a story at the same time. That's how good you need to know stuff on the guitar. Right? So tell a story. Well, we were shopping for an RV and we were at the lot and 
we were at the Alpine RV uh, sales place, and that's what happens. We actually went and we checked out an RV there, and turns out, little did we know, there was a family of raccoons living in the empty septic system, you see, because they don't fill the septic systems in the RVs when they're in the lot. So what happened was uh, our salesman, Hal, <laughs> so he opened the septic uh, door to that, and those raccoons just piled. <laughs> they were just in there having a good time, right? And what happens is they fell out. They bit Margaret on the ankle. See, <laughs> I cracked myself up. Here's what it sounds like with the little, uh, the little jazz pick, right? Wow, what a difference, huh? What a difference in speed and clarity. So that's a discussion for another day, is how your guitar pick can change your life. Until next time, my fine feathered friends.